the situation in Yellowstone National Park has once again shaken the world, with the second explosion of one of the world's most famous geysers, Old Faithful, seemingly unstoppable. Causing it to produce a stream of waste heat that damages nearby pavement, causing environmental and road safety problems. Yellowstone has the status of an active volcano. Tan turns out to be a huge area, the size of Chicago, moving Yellowstone National Park. The caldera doesn't just lift, it also moves up and down like a breathing motion. Does this mean another super eruption is imminent? Yellowstone's volcanic explosive index is 8 on a 10-point scale. This means that if this volcano erupts it will turn into an apocalypse. Let's look at scientists' predictions regarding the possibility of a Yellowstone eruption. The magma reservoir in the National Park has become sharper. This new focus of results does not indicate any new magma accumulation and also does not indicate that the magma is moving to the right. Guest columnists Ross McGuire and Brandon Schman create a new seismic tomography model using an advanced imaging approach that leverages supercomputers. A small team of geologists and seismologists from the University of Utah Salt Lake Institute of Earth Sciences Academia Psychotype and the University of New Mexico have studied the magma content in Yellowstone Reservoir and reported differences from previous measurements. The group uses seismic wave data to better understand conditions beneath Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone National Park is a U.S. national park located in the Wyoming part of Montana and Idaho. The city is famous for beautiful views and geothermal features such as Old Sesha. The Skyser feature exists because of the large magma reservoir located beneath the park. Previous research suggests that over the past 16.5 million years, a hot spot beneath the National Park has caused a series of volcanic eruptions. Volcanoes have emerged behind many calderas over the years. Many research teams have studied Yellowstone's magma reservoir and found ways to measure its size and predict its contents. The upper reservoir is about 90 kilometers long and 40 kilometers wide. Beneath the upper reservoir is a lower chamber believed to be approximately 4.5 times the size. Previous studies of both chambers have shown that the deeper reservoir is located mostly made of solid material mixed with 2% liquefaction in contrast to the upper chamber which experienced more liquefaction previously. The researchers' efforts to find a higher melt percentage after analyzing seismic wave data they found around 28% melt percentage in the magma reservoir is important because it can provide an indication of this possible interruption in this case the new team agrees with previous assessments indicating such an interruption is unlikely to occur in any national area.